Ole. Fields sent on their mile and three-eighths journey. They all began very smoothly. Along the inside, almost a factor, but now with this vow wants the lead, and with this vow sprints around them to take over. Scarabier is now settled in the second spot. Taranta's back in third is almost a factor, takes back to fourth. No big hurry out here. Duvet Day is in the blue cap in mid-pack, and then comes Witch Moon. They have been followed by Queen of the Temple in the gold cap towards the rear. Unfaithful ways inside of that, and Octane quite content to trail early. Past the Sands first time round, and with this vow, got it all her own way out here, and a tight hold leads them by just over three. Scarabier is racing in second. On the outside, Taranta's pretty keen to go on. Almost a factor down at the rail, and they've been followed by Duvet Day in the fifth spot, five off the leaders. Then back to Witch Moon, Queen of the Temple in the gold cap. Octane is still back second last, and drop back to last as unfaithful ways. Ten lengths would cover the lot. Half the journey covered now, and with this vow, still not pressured at all. Ears Prick just bowling along on the front, has it by a length. Garabi is racing second, almost a factor, right there at the rail in third. Behind that comes Taranta, now Taranta's getting up a little closer. Duvet Day in the white colours at the rail. Queen of the Temple, still just been confidently handled. Only four lengths off the leaders now. Then Witch Moon, behind Witch Moon comes Octane, and last of all, Unfaithful Ways. Basically, no change in the order. They head into the 3 8 pole as they kick on for home now with this vow on the inside. Right up there, going to take them on now, though. Queen of the Temple, just in behind that. Scarabaya, three of them almost in a line here. Almost a factor sent after them, just three lengths behind him. Duvet Day is in with a big shot as well, and then Witch Moon coming to the top of the lane with this vow now suddenly gives way at the rail. Scarabia is right up alongside to take them on. Queen of the temple in the gold cap almost a factors running on late and duvet day out in the center duvet day finishing game league queen of the temple still right there as well duvet day on the outside duvet day gets up to win it duvet day to queen of the temple finished a close-up second behind that was carabier and almost a factor Unofficial result, winner number seven, Duvet Day. Second number nine, Queen of the Temple. Third number six, Garabia. Fourth number one, almost a factor. Result is official. The seventh race is the featured Fleet Treat Stakes, scratch number six and seven.
Now in the winner's circle, number seven, Duvet Day. She's a three-year-old Bay filly by Star Spangled Banner. Out of Jeter Adore. She's owned by Jane and Bert Bacharach. The winning trainer is Mike McCarthy. The winning rider, Abel Sadio. The winner was Ready Nyland by John Yar.